Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate of how to install OpenALEC operating system on Raspberry Pi version 2 or B plus model. Now, if we talk of OpenALEC, OpenALEC stands for Open Embedded Linux Entertainment Center. It is basically regarded as a Linux distribution designed for HTPCs, that is called Home Theater PCs, and is based on Kodi, formerly known as XBMC Media Player. OpenALEC applies the just enough operating system principle and it is designed to consume relatively few resources and is able to boot quickly from flash memory. So we can say that OpenALEC is regarded as one of the fastest media streaming operating system for Raspberry Pi. If we talk of the versions, OpenALEC is being developed from OpenALEC team and it is based from Unix-like system and it was released in 2009. But today if we talk of OpenALEC, its latest version is 6.0.0 and it was launched about two months ago on 1st November 2015. OpenALEC provides a complete media center software suite that comes with a pre-configured version of Kodi and third-party add-ons with retro video game console emulators and DVR plugins. Now if you can see on my screen, the, I have opened a website called openalec.tv. It is the main website of OpenALEC in which you can find all types of features and you can find that it is just enough operating system. So it is also known as JEOS. So you can say it is having movie organizer and player, TV show management, picture browser, music and audio book player, TV and personal video recorder, easy expandable with add-ons. So if you click on this website that is called wiki.openalec.tv slash index.php slash raspberry pi, it will find that how much things you will require in order to deploy OpenALEC on Raspberry Pi. Now as you know that in this video I am going to demonstrate you that how to install it on the SD card and then we will be using that SD card live on Raspberry Pi. So it requires basically the Raspberry Pi, SD card, power adapter, micro USB cable, internet connection for possible software updates. And you can find that it is having all types of resources which you can find for OpenALEC. And if you want to download OpenALEC, you can just click on the this link called Downloads. So scroll down and you can find that there is a link called OpenALEC. So click over here. So now you can scroll down and you can find that it is not only built for Raspberry Pi, it is built for, you can say, GPUs, for NVIDIA Shields, for anywhere. You can find that just there is a Raspberry Pi built and you can just click on this logo that is called OpenALEC 6.0.1 ARM update file in order to download OpenALEC. So, so as this is the main link which you can download, there is another link that is called ftp.vim.org slash media player slash openalec and you can scroll down and you can download this link over here as I've already downloaded over here. That is openalec slash raspberry pi and if I right click on this properties and now you can find that it is about 102 MP so it is not a very big operating system. So if you double click over here, and you can find this is an image which you have to just extract over here. So I will not extract it because I've already extracted this on my desktop. That is this open alec. So if you can right click over here and click on properties, you can find that it has become about 548 MB. So now this is regarded as the basic introduction. What is open alec, where to download it and what about its RAR as well as the extraction file. So now let us proceed on part B that is how to install open alec on SD card. Now as you can find in my previous videos, I've already demonstrated that we require two softwares. One is called the SD formatter and second software is called Win32 Disk Manager. For SD formatter, it is basically to format the SD card and Win32 Disk Manager in order to copy the that you can say your image file into the memory card. So we will be doing the part B in which we will be formatting the SD card and then we will be installing open alec image using Win32 Disk Manager on our SD card. So before we proceed, let me insert the SD card into my laptop. So I have inserted it. So now if you have to do is to just click on this SD formatter. Click yes and now just remove this if it is anything over here. So click on option, click on this uh, drop down menu, click on and click OK and click on format. 
so click ok and click ok so don't worry about these warnings it is just going to format the SD card so now you can see that this uh, uh, software has formatted my SD card into FAT32 and we have the total free space that is about 7.49 GB so click ok and click exit so now let us proceed with the installation of OpenAlec on the SD card so double click on this Win32 Disk Manager click yes now what you have to do is to just do a simple step, click on this word called browse, go to desktop, you can find this is an open alec image which I have already demonstrated you, so click open and click on write, so click yes. So it will just take about uh, you can say 4 to 5 minutes depending on the speed of the SD card. So as I am using about a class 10 SD card and the speed of my laptop is very good so it will just take 2 to 3 minutes. So till it uh, installs or you can say copies all files of open alec on my SD card let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it is almost finished. So now we can see that the message has come that is called write successful. So this in part B we have learned how to format the SD card and how to install the, the open alec image into the SD card. So let us click OK and now we will be going uh, putting our SD card out of this. Let us right click this and click on eject SD card. So uh, in the third part we will be just inserting your live SD card into the Raspberry Pi and we will be showing you that how to manage the open alec and we will be also playing one video also. So now you can see that I have uh, already installed the open alec operating system image onto my this SD card and in this video I will be showing you the live feed of open alec media center server on uh, my television screen as now you can see that there are some things which are there on the table so let me first of all demonstrate what things we require to make this raspberry pi as a media center uh, server you can say using uh, all these equipment so now you can see that this is this is a raspberry pi and this is a sd card on which open alec image has already been installed so what you have to do is to just fit this sd card over here in raspberry pi after that we require that is uh, an optional thing but it but according to me it is a very important thing unless or until you don't want to have some installation of apps or anything from the internet so uh, as you know that I am having a wireless modem in my home so this is a Wi-Fi dongle so in order to enable internet on Raspberry Pi so just connect it over here on any of the USB ports as you can see that there are four USB ports so I can attach my dongle I can attach my mouse keyboard and even one uh, pen drive so the next thing which I require is the mouse so I just connect my Bluetooth adapter of mouse over here. The next thing which I require is the keyboard so as you can see a keyboard is there uh, onto my table so I just connect its USB over here. So I just need a pen drive because why because as you know that when we boot the open alex so we require that uh, we have to uh, make so you can see some uh, open some movie. So for that I've copied one movie of Minions into this pen drive so I will be running that movie onto my television screen. And after that I require a television remote so that we can operate with open alec. And last but not the least we require a HDMI cable. So let me connect the HDMI cable. So it has been connected. And now let me connect the power adapter. So let me place over here. So here you go with the power adapter. So power adapter has been set up, keyboard is okay, mouse is working and I just remove this SD uh, card. So there is a mouse, so there is my television remote and I will be operating with these keys over here. So let us on the television screen and on the Raspberry Pi. So now you can see that Raspberry Pi has started booting and now you can see that there is an open alec logo which has booted which means embedded Linux entertainment system. So this is basically the welcome screen you see that there is a wizard which has gone through so I will be using my this button that is next so there is an interface so I just press again that is next so you have the networking so I can use the, anything that is from Anand networks or anything over here so I click next and here you in order to require some services you can make the SSH server that is secure shell and the Samba server in order to connect with the windows. So click next and here the wizard is open so click next. 
so this is the interface my friends that you can find there is a music there is videos pictures and even programs and the system so if you want to make any settings you can go over here click on settings you can find all the appearance tv music etc over here so if you want to click back you can just click on exit and you can come back so now let me insert this pen drive which contains a movie and let us uh, you can say watch the movie of minions so let us wait till it uh, detects our pen drive and you can see that there is a Kodi. Kodi is basically now you can see that uh, the pen drive has been connected so now let me go to videos files so click ok click on files go to this SD uh, you can say the pen drive which I have already mounted over here and click ok and now you can find Minion so it is at 720p blu-ray and it is having a dual audio and it is having 5.1 so let us see how much power there is into raspberry pi in order to play this movie so let's play it so now you can see that the movie has started so very good interface of stop you can even forward this so a very brilliant clarity let me stop it so now you can see that uh, a very wonderful interface is there of open alec so in the uh, you can say you can just enjoy make raspberry pi a media center addition thank you so much